Hi guys, so I wanted to talk to you about sweet potatoes. So in my garden, I grow sweet potatoes every year and I start my vines with one of my leftover sweet potatoes. So while this is downstairs in storage, late in the winter, it'll start putting on little purple buds and that tells me that this is ready to vine out. So I will bring it up here and I will poke some toothpicks on three sides of it and then set it down in some water and then let it root. I keep the water at a consistent level so that the top of the roots don't dry out and then it puts off these little these little vines. Once the vines get so big then I will I will pluck them off and I will put these in water and they will start growing some vine, some roots. Let me pick another one. This is a good one. See those little white hairs? Those are the roots. Now I will leave these in the water until they are, until they have, you know, a significant amount of roots. And then, and I change this water out maybe once every couple of days or something, just take them off, rinse off the roots, stick them back in some fresh water. That's all that's in there is water. And then, like I said, once they get significant roots on them, then I will put them in a potted plant and set them outside. This allows me because sweet potatoes do not tolerate cold at all. They are a southern uh, grown vegetable and if they get the hint of a frost, they will wilt and die and and it'll be done. Um, so this allows me to allow them to grow, but also bring them in anytime it gets below, I'd say about 50 degrees, I bring them inside. Um, you can, I separate them so that I can plant different plants. Oh, can you see in there? Can't really see in there. But see how they're all kind of separated? They've all got, all got their own little space. So that way, whenever I go out in the garden, I can put, you know, one here, one there, and spread them out quite, quite well. Um, another thing uh, many people don't know is that the sweet potato leaf is edible. You can put it in your salads or you can cook it up as a green. Um, very nutritious, very edible. So when you're after you get these planted in your garden, and here in Kentucky, we are, we used to be zone 6B, I think we're now 7, um, but uh, we don't usually plant these out until about the middle of June, but they take such a long time to grow and to, to develop good-sized sweet potatoes that you really need to get an early start. So, like I said, late winter is when my potato tells me it's ready to start biting out. So I put it in some water. And then as they get big or big enough, you know, about, about that size. So it's about that size on the potato. And then I take it and put it in the water and let it root. And then now it's actually growing and getting nutrients from pot and soil. And then mid June, it goes out in the garden and um, and then it grows from there. And these vines will get tangly and take over the whole garden if you're not careful. I just keep throwing them back on each other. But like I said, you can cut them off and you can eat them. Um, anywhere that the root, that the vine sets, it's going to root and create another plant. Uh, so it's very prolific. It'll, it's very uh, invasive. Um, and, uh, but, you know, you can eat it or you can cut it back or you can just keep throwing it on top of itself and uh, preventing it from rooting because you want your original plants to make the sweet potatoes. Um, so that's about all I got for here for the sweet potatoes. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, these are Beauregard's sweet potatoes. Uh, there are many different varieties. There are some that are truly Southern varieties. Make sure that if you are above Kentucky or right at Kentucky's level, that you get a cold, not a cold hardy, but a cooler temperature hardy, because like I said, none of them want a, a, a hint of a frost. Um, 
So if you have any questions, um, get with me, comment down below, and like and subscribe the channel. Thanks.